Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Guitar Amp simulators in Reaper. Now the purpose of a Guitar Amp simulator is it allows us to plug a guitar directly into an audio interface and simulate the sound of a guitar amp without actually using one. So let me show you how to set this up in Reaper. We'll start by making a new track over here. I'll name it Guitar. Let's give it a color. And we'll set up the input to where my guitar is plugged into. On my interface, it's plugged into input two. Then I'll turn on input monitoring so we can hear it through this track and put it into record. So I can play my guitar and I should hear it and see the level right over here. And I do. And the level should be about three quarters of the way up. On the meter here, We don't want it to overload or go into the red, but we also don't want it to be too quiet as it's going to affect our amp sound. Now the guitar sound we have now is very clean and boring. Because we're not actually running through an amp. Typically, guitars are not meant to be plugged directly into an audio interface. You usually want to play through an amp and mic it up. But we're going to simulate that. So we'll go to the effects on this track right here, and we're going to search distortion. Just to give it more gain, we'll choose this one here and switch the channel mode to stereo, and it sounds like this. That has more gain or level, but it also sounds weird on the top end. I call it the potato chip effect. Where it doesn't sound real, it sounds like the speaker is blown. That's because we're not actually simulating an amp. We're just boosting the gain and adding distortion. So add to this plugin, let's add an amp simulator. We'll double click over here, type in amp, and we can choose the plugin right over here. Convolution Amp Cabinet Modeler. So it's going to simulate an amp or model those speakers. So we'll choose this, which is coming after the distortion plugin. Without the distortion, it sounds like this. Which is more interesting than this. But it could still use some extra gain. If we want some, we could add in a distortion and adjust that gain right here. Let's first bring down the output on this plugin so it doesn't distort over here. And we could choose different models right over here a Fender Bassman. Or a Marshall. And readjust the gain with the distortion plugin. Bring it up and bring this down. Or try out the Mesa Boogie. Or even a Vox. Now, if you want to try some other impulse responses to simulate amps, we could use a different plugin. We could remove this one and use Reverb instead. Let's turn this one off and add another and go to the Reaper plugins and choose Reverb. And this is typically used for reverb sounds, but it could also be used to simulate an amp 
using impulse responses. So let's bring down the dry and bring up the wet and go to add and choose file. Now I downloaded earlier a free impulse response file I found on the internet. And there's a whole bunch to choose from, both free and paid for. Let's hear this one. And let's hear it without the distortion. Just clean and readjust the level right here. Now, if you notice, the sound is coming back a bit later than when I play it, because this plugin adds some latency. So we should go down over here and turn on zero latency. Then hit play on Reaper and stop, and it resets it. And that removes the latency. We should also add a meter after it, because we can't see the level right over here. So we'll add a meter plugin right after the other one. Dynamic range meter. And let's float all these plugins. Here's the distortion that's bypassed. Here's our impulse response. And here's our final level, or the meter, which we could adjust right over here. Let's turn back on the distortion. Let's hear that. A bit more. That sounded pretty good. And we could adjust our gain right from this plugin. Make it cleaner. Bring this back up a bit and get a cleaner, more edgy sound. Or more distortion by bringing this up and bringing this down. And without this plugin, it sounds like this. Not so good. But with it, it simulates a guitar amp. Now, if you want to record this, it's only going to record our direct sound to the track, like this. So we play it back, we could change the sound even after we record it. To make it cleaner. Or more distorted. But if we want to print the sound on the way in, we could put the effects on the input. Let's close this, open this up, and select them all. Hold down Alt on the PC option on the Mac, and just drag them to the input effects. And now if we record, it's going to record the effects on the way in. It's going to print them. It's not as flexible, but it allows us to commit to our sound as it's printed on the track. Now, another way we could do this is just by adding a dedicated guitar amp simulator or an amp plugin. There's a bunch of free ones available. I downloaded this one. Let's type in amp from Blue Cat Audio. It's a free one, but they also have paid ones available. And it looks like this. And it provides the gain and the amp simulator in one plugin. You can change the presets right over here from clean to a bit heavier.
or a lot heavier, like this. <laughs> Or even go heavier, like this. And again, we can move this to the input effects if we want to print the effect on the way in. Just drag it and drop it over here. And it'll print that sound as you record. And that sound is printed to audio. Or we could leave it on the track effects so we could tweak it later. So that's pretty much it. That's using Guitar Amp simulators in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.